All right, welcome back to The Hill here on News Nation. A new poll from Axios and Ipsos is revealing what Americans believe is the greatest threat to U.S. public health. It's opioids and fentanyl, with 26% of U.S. adults surveyed ranking it as the top threat. Coming in second, obesity at 23%. Listed in third at 20%, gun violence. Today, President Biden's drug czar, Dr. Rahul Gupta, held a roundtable discussion in Kentucky with the Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell about combating the overdose epidemic. I think it is uh, incredibly instructive to start with the fact that this is the Biden administration and the top Republican in the Senate today saying, we got to get our hands around this thing. Not, yeah. a, not a political issue. No. no. It's a health issue, and America has come a long way in looking at drugs and criminal interdiction uh, when it comes to drugs uh, from the 80s and 90s with crack to understanding and appreciating that drug addiction, we've all got family members, I can't speak mm -hmm. for everybody, but I got family members been addicted to drugs, and it is a health issue. And even the lead-in, she talks about should we be doing more about criminal uh, criminal code or criminality, and the reality is we ought to be doing more in the health space in regard to reducing the demand for drugs in this country while protecting the borders, of course, and arresting and working with our partners around the, the world to reduce um, those who would be supplying drugs to the U.S. Well, I would also say, too, this particular issue, it's a geopolitical problem because the precursor drugs come from China. Those go to the, mm, the Mexican southern border, cartels. And then it's you've what got, you do along the southern border. Then you've got yeah. a border problem. Then yep. you've got a cartel problem. Mm -hmm. And then you also have this issue of what are the social ills that are driving these young people to use drugs? And then are there pragmatic issues that Republican and Democrats can come together to, to even, you know, try to solve the... Some of the problems with the drug users, are there ways that they can indicate that they have fentanyl in these drugs because you can't see it, you can't taste it, and so the and cartels are really abusing people. And their colleagues are dying, people. and they're still taking these risks. I mean, right. the program today, the bipartisan program today that was your lead-in was powerful and important, but you still have young, young kids all over this country taking that chance. You know, if some of these I, schools have I, I, whatever they call the injection to bring someone out of an overdose. The White House knows, Tim, that, that they need to keep talking about this and yeah. keep pushing this, and they are, and they're trying to. How much more of this? Because this poll, you know, we hear from President Biden a lot about guns. Yeah. We don't hear a lot about fentanyl well, from him, and we don't hear a lot about opioids from him. In his State of the Union address, all the way back in February, he talked about his unity agenda, and he talked about the opioid crisis as part of that. And you've seen some action from Congress and from the administration. It's what you know we call the shadow Congress. It doesn't grab headlines. It does when it's a huge problem like this. But the legislation moving sometimes feels a little slow. The FDA just approved over-the-counter Narcan, right, which helps with overdoses yeah. in this situation. It's little things like that. It's the Bipartisan HALT Act, which is sponsored by two Republicans in the House, passed, and the administration is supportive of it. So it's about that type of bipartisan Should this be a wake-up call for, for Democrats, though? Because we, we often... I just, I just don't think it's an issue where we should try to drive a wedge between the two parties. I think there is progress being made in a bipartisan But I think it's really important. I, I ran for Congress in San Diego, where 50% of the fentanyl comes over the border at the border entry. And so we can't have a serious conversation about addressing this fentanyl crisis without addressing our borders. And as long as that remains a politicized issue, something that is so basic, we have to stem the flow. It's coming from two major cartels in Mexico, and we have to stop it. We just, stop it by securing our borders. Just north of you uh, from San Diego, of course, to San Francisco right now, 81% of overdose deaths in that city are caused by Right. Caused by fentanyl. Yeah, and and re remember, this was an issue where, that Blinken was supposed to actually bring up when he went to China. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this, is, yeah. this is so important that it's a top agenda item in our foreign policy. Of course, we're not making any progress right now with how difficult the Chinese Communist Party has been. But it is a serious China problem. You still got to reduce the demand, though. Yep. You can't talk about one without Both. the other. You can close the border, but you got to reduce the demand the in the supply. U.S. Too. We got to be, we gotta be serious about it, and we can't have Ron DeSantis saying he's going to drone strike cartels. Like this is, we can't polarize this in a way that drives people apart. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.